ladies, gentlemen, we've arrived. The 2023 Purdue Boilermakers football season is upon us, and we are going into week one in style as Purdue is going to be facing off against Fresno State this weekend on Saturday. But that's not what we're here for. We are here to make predictions on the season. I'm a little late to the game, but I'm getting it out at least before the season starts. And I think I've come up with five predictions that are both wildly Possible, but also not too outlandish at the same time. I know I, more than most, can be a little optimistic more than most. But what's going on, guys? I'm Dakota, or Boiler in Texas, here on YouTube and on other social medias. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're excited for this weekend. And I'm here to give my five predictions for the 2023 Purdue football season. I am wearing my... 2022 West Division Champions shirt for good luck. It will be washed and probably will be worn again on Saturday at this point. I need all we need all the good luck that we can get going into the Ryan Walters era here at Purdue. Now, I'm not going to go be the channel to go into major, you know, player depth or statistical deep dives. I'm here as a vibes and optimism person. I'm excited to bring a lot more content to this channel and online this season. Um, I'm gonna try and find a regularly scheduled-ish time to do some post-game stuff, some preview stuff, and hopefully find some time to do it live as well so we can get more people involved. But I've rambled on for long enough. Let's go ahead and jump into my five predictions for the 2023 Purdue football season. Let's get it. Let's start off strong with my first prediction, and it is the centerpiece of the Ryan Walters transfer class, Hudson Card. I am more than excited to see Hudson start for the first time in the old golden black. I remember the day when he committed to play Purdue out of the transfer portal, and I was so excited that Coach Walters was able to draw a talent like that to West Lafayette. And so for my first official prediction, for the Purdue football season is that Hudson Card will be responsible for 30 touchdowns this season, minimum. I think it'll be a good combination of passing and rushing. I think his athletic ability is going to be good enough to keep defenses guessing, and I'm hoping he'll be able to take advantage of that to the tune of at least 30 touchdowns this year. It'll be interesting to see if the receiving core around him can step up to help him out in the passing game, but I think he is going to be that key piece of the offense to make things happen, and I believe that he's going to step into West Lafayette, become an absolute star from the beginning, and we'll see great, great things from Hudson Card this year. Moving on to my second prediction from one offensive piece to probably my favorite offensive piece, Devin Mockaby. I am one of the leaders of the Devin Mockaby fan club. I remember when he got the nod last season and absolutely took off to the point where I'm not quite sure why he wasn't seeing more action earlier in the year, but that's an old tale that we've talked about plenty online. But my next prediction is that Devin Mockaby will eclipse the 1,000-yard rushing mark, being Purdue's first 1,000-yard rusher in way too long, if we're being honest. I know Purdue is known for the passing game, but I think that Devin showed so much promise last season, and I'm hoping with the air raid-style offense that Graham Harrell is going to be installing into Purdue this season that is going to allow, <laughs> allow Devin to kind of run free, as it were, and he's going to eclipse the 1,000-yard mark. He managed to almost do it last season, and it got to the point towards the bowl game where we were basically begging the old regime to give him the ball and let him try and cross that 1,000-yard mark. Unfortunately, he didn't do it, but I think he does it with more to spare this season. It's going to be so much fun to see him develop over this offseason into this first game and as the season progresses again. I'm excited to see how the scouting staff uses him in the new offense. I know Coach Walters appreciated him enough to where basically on his first day he gave Devin a scholarship to everyone's delight. And I'm excited to see what he can do for us this year. But there you go. That's my prediction for Devin Mockaby. I'm expecting big things from the offense, at least from the two centerpieces. But time will tell, but I have high hopes. Okay, we're moving from one side of the ball to the other. My next prediction is about the Purdue defense, which is a very spotty and very full of transfers, especially in the secondary. But I have high hopes that the defense that Ryan Walters was able to manage at Illinois will make its way over to Purdue in some form or fashion. And while I'm not expecting us to lead the FBS in scoring defense like Illinois did last season, my next prediction officially is that Purdue will finish in the top half of the Big Ten in scoring defense. I think it's going to be a night and day difference, I hope, in the, the defensive side of the ball that we saw last year. I know Purdue had a lot of issues stopping the ball and getting off the field last season, which is kind 
kind of been a tale as old as time for uh, for us Boilermaker fans, at least as long as I've been uh, a fan. But I really think that Ryan Walters has a scheme and a defense that really is going to fit well, especially opposite the air raid style uh, offense that we're going to be running at the same time. And so maybe I'm just being the optimist that I I am and you guys know I am. But I think that the defense that Purdue is going to put on the field this year is going to be vastly different than it was last year. And I think that it's going to work at least enough to finish in the top half in scoring defense. What do you guys think? All right, moving on to our fourth prediction. We are flying through this. And this one, we start to look at the schedule. And I have made a bold prediction. And I think this is ripe for the picking when it comes to installing a new regime and a new coaching staff that you really don't know what you're going to see on paper or what it's going to look like. But I think that this regime and this team is going to be good enough for one thing to happen out of this group. I mean, I'm being a little vague at this point. But my official prediction for number four is Purdue will win one of Nebraska, Iowa, or Ohio State this year. Iowa is going to be tough. Ohio State is going to be a long shot, but it is in Ross State Stadium, and we know how that goes. It is a noon game, which does kind of work against us, or at Nebraska on the top of that. I feel like, I just feel like this team and the way that we're going to play is going to be ripe for an opportunity that if it all comes together for a single game, I think we're going to make it happen. And I just have a feeling about one of these games at Nebraska against Iowa or home against Ohio State that it maybe it all clicks together. And it may honestly just come down to who's available. Um, I know Purdue is currently missing a few pieces, key pieces, especially along the offensive line and on defense as well, that it may just kind of depend on the timing of everything as it always does. But there's just some feeling I have about this year that Purdue is going to knock off someone that they probably shouldn't, at least in Ryan Walter's first year. And I think it could be one of the three of Nebraska, Iowa or Ohio State. What do you guys think? Am I reaching a little bit here? Let me know down in the comments below. And do you see Purdue upsetting anyone that they probably shouldn't this year? Or is it just going to be one of those years that we kind of take our lumps and we move on and get excited for the first full recruiting class made by Ryan Walters in 2024? I don't know. I we all know I'm an optimist, but there's just something in the air and there's something about this team that gives the vibe that there might just be one time that we really just make it happen. Nebraska and Purdue have been very evenly matched over the last few years. Iowa and Purdue have played either some very lopsided ones on Iowa's side or even some lopsided ones on Purdue's side as well. It's been very weird. And we all know the history of Ross State Stadium and Ohio State coming to town. Who knows? But what do you guys think? We've arrived. My fifth and final prediction for the 2023 Purdue football season. And what prediction video would it be without a final record prediction for Purdue? I typically don't like making final score or I typically don't like making, you know, record predictions for a whole year, especially with a first year coach. But what can I do? It's a final. It's a, it's a season preview video. I got to make one. And here it is. My my official prediction for Purdue to finish in 2023 is six and six, four and five in the Big Ten. So I see us winning two out of three in the non-conference and then scraping together four in conference this is going to be a tough ask. I mean, I think six and six, maybe seven and five, if we get very, very lucky, might be the ceiling for this team with this schedule. But I just have a weird feeling about this about this season. And I've been saying it all video. I don't really know how to articulate it into words, but I guess we'll learn a lot more this weekend about Purdue when we play Fresno State, which is going to be no walk in the park, but it'll be an exciting weekend in West Lafayette and, and Ross Aid Stadium. But what do you guys think? That wraps up all five of my predictions. Hudson Card going off for 30 touchdowns. Devin Mockby, a thousand yard rusher. Purdue defense, a mighty improvement. Winning a game we probably shouldn't. And a final record of six and six. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think of my predictions down below. And what are your predictions as well? I'd love to hear the, the, uh, the predictions you guys are making, what you think is going to happen this year. Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel here. I plan on using this channel a lot more this academic year, this sports year as well, both for football, basketball. But for now, we'll leave it at that. Guys, this was my official 2023 Purdue football predictions. I hope this year is extremely well, goes extremely well. I'm very, very excited to see what Purdue can put on the field and to see what happens. There's nothing quite like football season, and I, for one, can't wait to see what happens next. 
But that'll do it for me here. I can't wait to be online with you guys this weekend as Purdue takes on Fresno State. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun year. I can't wait to go on this ride with you all. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.